Hello Dan, I've finally got around to doing this video after the last one failed. I'm going to go through this job here. We'll go through a basic one because this is what most of them are. And um, we'll then, uh, we'll see how we go. I think I'll, I'll run through it fully at full speed. Then I'll go back and explain some of the things I did and little shortcuts I took that might have not been so obvious. Uh, if you've got any questions, then let me know. I'm a freelance or whatever. So I'm just going to put this on another screen. This recording, I think it is. Yes, all right. So I've just opened this up already and uh, I've just got it up here, but <clears throat> I'll just do it from scratch. So, first of all, it's just to set out. So, I'm deleting all this and the names. We're not doing it in a four level, so it doesn't matter. Job number seven, eight. Bang. All right, so this I'm just doing in my ortho, looking at the other screen, 36, 16, 36, 16. Copy, paste, control, shift, C, control, V. Ba, 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 ba. Move that down. All right, dropping the PDF in. It's uh, working drawing, so it's gonna be page two. Oh, 0 0.1, 0 0.01. It's always at a scale. Da, da, da. Oh. 50. Do my outline. There's there's more than six in just the normal outline, so I'll just do the normal outline of the house, excluding porch and whatever. Um, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's just punch in some numbers. 17. Top turned. I've got ortho on, but snap off. See if they put all the dimensions on this thing. 0.72. What have we got here? 1.53. What is this? Yeah, see in that one, I don't know, I'll just do this little go center of line 1.52, make sure it lines up, I even just make sure it lines up through here. Yep, and we'll know if it closes at the end anyway. Um, so what is that? 0 0.47, 2.48, 1, 1.25. What's that distance? 24.01. It's got a little weird little old fresco. That's indoor, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not even gonna do it. Does it close? Yes, we color it blue, copy paste it. Do our little thing here. Copy that, see I've got that as that thing I already, so let's copy the properties. I've got K is copy properties. All right, so I want to do six, but I'm thinking of the longest lines, the main lines. Oh, these are all little just dinky lines at the front. What's that, five, six, well we get them all in anyway. Let's do this sucker. Oh, so that's what I always start over here because then if a line overlaps, like this might be the same as that. No, it's not. But see? So that's longer. That's always a good one to do. Back of garage. That's a longer line. Four. Ooh, I'll do that one. Say that one. All right. So I'll move that so they're not overlapping. What six and six. What are these first four? So I've got uh, master bed. What is that one? The master bed living gar entry. Master bed live gar ent. Just don't want to fuck those up. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, I copy this across. I paste it. I explode this. I do the vertical ones first. Oh, fuck. What have I done here? Fucked up that setting, have I? Select text. I did select the text. I must have exploded it. Oh. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I always, oh, why was it doing that? Anyway. Delete that. Scale this by 2.75. Round the three, whatever's going to fit in there. That's done. Now I'm going to copy this line work. So let's copy it like that. Paste it across. Let's go paste. Paste. Always on the very outside of the lines, G for group, what are offsets? I'm reading off the other thing, 0.03 gets on the boundary, 6.14, drop that garage corner on there, change this back to similar to plan, uh, it's not square, 6.14, so we've got 117 and 6.32, I'm looking at the other one, 6.32, 1.2 minus 30, 117 done. 
And I can copy this, I can do the paste. Or it's select by uh, white and delete. Well, I'll do the name, I might as well do the name. Import 25, copy that across to here. Export, get rid of the day because we don't know the day. Copy that, we explode this and we extend it. This is the only way I know how to, I wish there was a thing where you could just click them and they all extend to that thing automatically instead of me after clicking them all, that would be less annoying. All right, that's done. I copy this, I minimize. I've got my blank set up there as a shortcut to my blank, my blank worksheet. Click Posy. Just double click this, import 12325.5.20, DXF. It's already one in there because I've already done it. Alt F4, no to save, and yes. Close, done. I didn't even choose, but I'm gonna start at 7.51. What time is it on this? I don't even know, but it's about five minutes. All right, I'll go back into this and I'll just go through. There's not. There's really not that much to it. There's a few little tricks. It's mainly the order of things. I've just got the order of things down over time. And just really, I've just, I've changed this process so many times. I'm constantly just trying to tweak it. The ma one of the main things, like, oh, one, one thing I was going to mention is when you do these corner, like, let's say you get a corner block and it's like, is this one? Nine meters. And then, it, and then here's your splay. So you go, if it's a three meter splay, the four, two, four, it has to be square. Three meters, three meters, close it. Uh, 29, because it'd be three meters different, it'd be 12. And then that closes. So oh, you can check the closure, but look, man, if these are all exactly right, it's a square block, these will exactly be the centimeter. If they're not exactly the centimeter, something's gone wrong, because they should be. So then this, see how it's rounded, the four, two, three. So that's how I want you to do your, so if you see a splay, the, the splays are either two by two, which is two, eight, three. Two, eight, three, three by three, which is four, two, four, four by four, which is, so if you, these are the key number five, six, six, or five by five. If you see those, you know, I, I just look at that 707. So you see those numbers and you know, it's a three, four, five splay. Or it's a two, three, or four, five meter display. This is pretty simple. I draw the title boundaries first. I come over here. Now, when you drop this thing in, this is the thing. These are either going to be at most of the time, unless you get some random builder. If it's one of their common builders, enter page two. So site plans always page one, ground floor plans always page two. Page two. Now, look, I can see this is massive. So automatically, I know it's either going to be it's going to be 0 0.001 or 0 0.01 um, for this size. So you either kind of have your scalar by 0 0.1, usually it's 0 0.1, 0 0.001 or 2.54, which is an inch. So you can sort of tell by when I drop this in, I can just tell by eye because I know roughly it should be this size. So we're going to say this huge and nice point. So I don't even have to think about it. And then obviously it's a check once you start drawing around, it's the right scale. If it's not the right scale, well, I mean, you obviously it's probably simple. You understand it, but I, I just measure, I just put a dimension and then I just, you divide what it should be divided by what you have and that ratio, you scale it by that and you'll get the thing. Um, drew the outline, pretty simple. Um, a good little trick is for the porches and that, if you're gonna have to, if I had to draw this porch in, I would start here near the porch. Don't start like uh, around here. Oh, it's just easier to start where, if you can start on a corner where the porch is, then you only have to do one more line back. So if I went all the way around this building and came back to this point, then I'd go around and do the porch 2.48. So then I'm straight on the porch, you know what I mean? Or I could even start here, like it's probably even easier to start here. So then you're not doubling up lines. That's just another little trick. Um, yeah, it's just easy to keep things in one piece with the polyline when moving it around. Um, these baseline it, 
Um, just follow my process there. If you've got a quicker way, do a quicker. But and yeah, I think you'll be you'll be pumping these out. Um, so th this is this one. This is the basic one. I'm going to do another one for the other types of thing, other types of drawing, re-establishment, etc. Um, this concludes this one.